Hello everyone, this is episode 33 of building my dream park in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Alright, so let's update. We got the new drop and elevated tracks and I am planning to use those. We have this corner around here where I am planning to build today's new roller coaster. Yes, we are going to build the next roller coaster for my dream park. And which coaster will that be? I was thinking the dive coaster. That might sound very weird for now, but let's just first start building and then I will tell you about what we're going to do. Alright, so first of all, I will be needing some colors, of course, because it's low poly. And I am planning to add some sort of like big snowy mountain, some sort of like mountain in this corner and probably with a big frozen waterfall. That's the main idea. So let's just first get like some snow colors. So yeah, of course, we're definitely... That's really white. Maybe maybe something more like that. Yeah, 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 maybe. There we go. And then even darker, something like that. Seems to be fine. Okay, there we have our three main colors. That's what I kind of want to do for this whole area. Is just have three gradients for every sort of color we have. So just so it doesn't look all the same. And I guess we're also just going to have some rocks. We have the very light one, the darker... And then the very dark. This is the like the mountain rock color. And then the snow is going to be on top of that. So let's get rid of this. And I will yeah keep this for here now. And I'm probably going to remove the train also back for now. Fun fact, I was actually first looking into doing a single rail coaster. But uh, it just doesn't look too good. So let's get rid of those. And I'm going to keep the trees around here for now. Just so I have like the template of them. Alright, so let's get this rock and let's get placing some very big primitives. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's maybe, yeah, that's too big. Okay, let's make that a bit small. <laughs> I did not know you could make them that big. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, something like that seems to be fine. And what do we think? I do is press T. Now I can actually, like, rotate them and place them however I want. And, yeah, something like that looks pretty cool. Rotate most of these rocks, but I do think this is the easiest and fastest, like, way to do this whole thing here. There will be some inside part here. But what? You will be seeing a little bit later so make sure you keep watching but yeah the waterfall is going to be in here so i guess we will just have to sort of do that and then i guess that's the size of the waterfall yeah that seems to be accurate and i can also place them like this sideways and then just rotate them and yeah it's just mainly adding a lot of like layers something like that of course we're also going to paint it and other stuff and yeah i guess then it's just adding like more layers on top of it they're just going up quite a lot i don't want to go up high uh, as this is going to look nice i probably will have like an opening under here and the, the frozen waterfall because i have a hopefully a cool idea that's going to work and i, I will say hopefully again <laughs> i am still not 100 sure all right this yeah looks a bit weird right now but that is going to be changing a little bit when we are of course hopefully out of bounds when, when we're going to be placing the snow on top of it and i really hope that is going to look good Okay, and then we're also going to delete some of the terrain in here because it's of course going to be some sort of like ish frozen lake around here. So that looks nice. And then we need to find like a ish nice color. Can I just use... This is way too bright. It's, it's now like almost neon. And I feel like this is too blue. That doesn't look too bad. I guess for now this is this is, this is good enough. And the last all, there we go. Now we have some frozen ish things. Of course, this is just the basic, not detailed. The, there is going to be more theming around it. Okay, let's make these a bit higher. Yeah, and now we're going to get the problem of out of bounds so i might just place it there for now and then it will just slowly i guess go down i don't know what to do for here yet just have this idea for this part of sort of the area i plan to maybe more than one coaster which i guess is the first time in this part yeah okay and i think we should do maybe one more layer on top of here i've never really built a frozen lake before so this is all trial and error for me and i just really hope it's going to work and i'm probably just going to remove this strain for now and probably it's going to go up more in the area so let's let's just remove that for now and then we can see later on what's going to be doing okay i think this wall yes yeah, probably high enough that actually doesn't look too bad i like it okay now the painful step is probably going to be what, what we're now going to have to do is move this up and then do that and then have to paint snow on top of it i probably want to make this a bit thicker than the rest because there's just more snow around this area but first what i'm going to do is just paint some of these rocks a bit darker just just so it has a bit more color which i am quite a big fan of okay, look that already looks a bit better all right and then and we're going to do the same with snow. We're all just going to be placing snow on top of everything. I will be back when I have placed snow on almost everything. Except of course the middle because there is the waterfall. Ok, 
Okay, that is starting to look a little bit better with the snow on top of it. I do like that. Of course, now it still looks very gray, which we're of course going to be adding some more color to it with some maybe some green plants and stuff in it in between. Of course, with snow on top of it. But I also have these yeah white balls, which we are going to be using a little bit more as yeah snow blobs thing. So it's like most of like the small yeah sort of hill, snow hill more. So it's not all yeah rectangle, I guess. I think if we're going to add, add definitely some trees like these around it should definitely look a bit better i'm not sure if it's really realistic to have different colors of snow but i just kind of like it in the point where it looks a bit more random all right there we go now we have the base of the mountain there's nothing really special to it now we are probably going to add the sort of like the frozen waterfall but as you can see there is like a gap here why is there a gap because i am planning to do something kind of cool or i hope it's going to work so what i'm going to do shape in here so it's like splits the waterfall in half and then in the future the probably the coast is going through the hole or that's sort of an idea and also i just have to like make it quite big otherwise it will look maybe a bit out of place and I guess the waterfall is going to like drop down on this and then split on the left and split on the right. So it creates like an opening around here, which I guess can be pretty cool. Okay, now it is time for the waterfall part. And uh, then it's going to be like splitting up like this and uh, move that down. Okay, well, there we have sort of like the base of the waterfall. It, look, it looks terrible, guys. I know, but it is going to be a lot more detail. Okay, so now I kind of know the shape. It's time to, yeah, probably delete most of this <laughs> again uh, so i can make it a bit nicer looking if i have to say so and a bit more just nature ish yeah peace i don't know how to uh, how do i tell how i make a frozen waterfall uh, i guess i'm just going to do it and then you can sort of like tell what i'm doing it's 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 weird i have like this idea in my mind and i guess i just have to build it and as i said i just hope it works i am still not sure if it does but i i have hopes three days later all right there we go that, that looks all right that Definitely, I could do better, but I don't think you will be seeing quite a lot from this because there will be something in front of it, which I guess we can sort of start building because I kind of need to know what, what, uh, where it's going to be. So I guess let's just start building the dive coaster. So why I deleted the, the train from here is because I am planning to have the station actually on here. That means that the train had to move. And if I am correct, I made that fit. That's perfect. And this is probably going to go a little bit just so I can do something with it. And then just like four, five stations. I have no idea exactly what it is. And uh, what it's going to do is sort of like a very small three part until it is around there. And then it's going to... Yeah, this is... Well, okay, what I'm first going to be doing is put in the special element, which I am uh, planning to do. So what I have to do is go sort of around here. That seems to be fine. And then, yeah, this is going to look very weird what I'm now going to be doing. But there we go. Let's make it a bit longer. Delete all of these. Go all the way in the corner as much as possible. And then this is going to be a elevator. And I hope this is going to be working. Okay, that seems to be correct. And then it's just going to do that. Okay, perfect. And uh, from from this point, I'm just going to place a piece right there. Oh, I made it fit. I made it fit. I made it fit. Let's go. Okay. Uh, all block breaks like right here. And what my main idea for this here but down below was it's sort of like a viewing area. So you can actually see the people down there and like, and then they go up and you see them here and then they drop down. But I am scared when I'm going to be testing it. It is going to be, let's just say a bit unrealistic, especially if you're in like the left trains, you are probably going to crash in with the other trains but do i care yeah that's <laughs> hmm interesting and uh, yeah then it's just going to go up like this and of course now it's going to be going through some rocks i'm going to like move that in a bit it actually looks very weird without support it's not gonna like and then it goes all the way up right above this and oh you're going to have some great views from here and then uh, we all know what's going to happen from this point on so um i guess let's just sort of build the first part of the roller coaster 
Okay, so first we are going to have a very small just straight piece and then we are going to have to hold brakes. So this is 90 degrees, less on like that. And then I have an idea. Then I'm just going to use normal piece. Probably move that in like that so it's more 90 degree drop-ish. Right here, it will be going actually in the ice. Sounds crazy, but there is going to be this like big open hole in there. And I know this might block sort of like the view, but kind of what I was trying to do. I might actually have to make this bigger now I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's, it's just going to do the normal sort of thing then it's just going to come up around here and do some yeah a more man inversion okay that seems to be yeah, around fine and it's of course going to be moving down a bit more and keep that sort of turn in there for now uh, i have no idea how much speed we will be having i hope enough and then uh, this turn will be continuing like this probably also going a bit in the ground i'm not sure what's going to be around here so i am probably just going doing something random for now so let's just continue this turn because i need to go back it's going to be like a very short layout the thing is i don't have like that much room in this area look out for the track that's right there uh, oh that looks actually really nice and then uh, from this point it will be going actually down like this all the way there and then it's going to have like block break block break break and then we have to like sort of connect these two and then we have our actually pretty nice looking coaster and uh, just like entering this thing we're just seeing like the frozen waterfall down there and then there's going to be probably like another small coaster uh maybe like a junior coaster or something like that now i don't really like the colors i am probably going to have the same colors as this so that is yeah that one uh yeah the supports i'm probably going to be doing uh, custom so i guess we can just put that on off for now and there we have our somewhat like icy looking roller coaster and i have to say i kind of do like this like just seeing this oh it's really really cool and then the path is going to like around here under here and then probably also under here maybe even over here i don't think we have that much room but maybe we can have like a little bridge so yeah now we have like the grass area we have like an icy snowy area we have a sand area and then i guess i will be needing one more area here which i don't know yet but uh, that's a problem for later but oh, this looks very cool okay let, let's let's just uh there's probably going to be like some sort of like ice cave in here and maybe see if i can maybe move the track even bit more to the left and yeah see if i can maybe change anything of the size of the project because uh, yeah i do have some room on the yeah the front and the back probably will need to go a bit faster and then yeah you just go up like this and you have like an awesome view of the park it's directly in front of the castle uh, on the left you can see that coast and then just you are going to look down and then we are going to drop down in this like ice yeah crack in the ground we do this, yeah, actually we have a quite decent speed. And we're going on this, yeah, sort of turn, air time. And then straight into the brakes, which probably don't break hard enough yet. Guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe on my channel. Let me know in the comments what I should be doing next for this area. Of course, there's going to be way more custom supports, more, way more, like, rock around here. Great start. Thank you for watching, guys. I will say, as always... Goodbye.